speaker is standing before almost entirely white crowds in North Carolina, Michigan, Virginia, and Ohio, candidate Donald Trump planted a bleak picture of American, African-American life in 2016, full of crime, high poverty, and failing schools. He went on to say it's a disaster the way African-Americans are living and asked, what the hell do you have to lose? In just three short weeks, Mr. Speaker, President Trump has shown the world exactly what a disaster looks like. He has put a white supremacist in the White House as his chief political advisor. He has given us a general who spent the last 30 plus years working against civil and voting rights. He has appointed a shamefully ill-prepared Secretary of Education whose only qualification seems to be her ability to contribute millions to Republic candidates in what can only be described as a textbook definition of pay to play. Candidate Trump promised to be the hero of working people, but President Trump is doing the exact opposite. His actions tell a lot more than his tweets. His cabinet is full of millionaires, many with ethical challenges and conflicts of interest. He's already raised the cost of mortgages for many Americans. He is proposing that we abandon the overtime rule that would ensure bigger paychecks for working people. He is working to dismantle Wall Street reform and is proposing a border tax that would give corporations a huge tax break while costing working men and women more on groceries, clothes, and other goods. The policies of the Trump administration are an extension of the policies that Republicans in the House have pushed for years. To candidate Trump's question, what do you have to lose? For starters, your voice at the ballot box. A free and fair election is a hallmark of democratic governance. Yet, the Trump administration and republics in Congress continue to threaten this basic pillar of democracy. They have promulgated blatant falsehoods about voter fraud, sowing fear and distrust. They have worked and are working across the country to prevent people from voting. They are refusing to investigate Russian interference in our elections and are currently moving legislation through the House of Representatives to eliminate the only federal agency tasked with helping Americans vote and protecting our voting machines from hacking. As President Trump, uh, uh, Trump and his spokespeople continue to make demonstrably false claims about widespread voter fraud and causing up to the country that attacked our democracy, House Republicans just passed out of committee H.R. 634, legislation to eliminate the only federal agency tasked with certifying the security of our voting machines and the election, the election Assistance Commission. 47 out of 50 states rely on the EAC's voter machine certification program in some capacity. A recent report by the Institute for Critical Infrastructure Technology concluded, and I quote, voter machines are neither secure nor complex. In general, these stripped down computers utilizing outdated operating systems possess virtually every conceivable vulnerability that a device can have, end of quote. In my home state of South Carolina, we currently use voter machines that were rejected by the state of Ohio in 2007 for being, and I quote, buggy, unstable, and exploitable. And even though machines are, are supposed to be, uh, not to be connected to the internet, they are well past their shelf life, and therefore, to break down, crash, and produce errors. Replacing these outdated machines 
with updated ones will cost a significant amount of money, and the burden is on the states to do so. Mr. Speaker, if House Republics are serious about election integrity, they ought to stop working to prevent people of color and start investing in voting infrastructure. With that, I yield.